So, now next topic is here is strain. So, when we apply an external force that is an deforming, fo a deforming force on the body, its configuration changes. So, see here a strain is defined as change in configuration divided by original configuration. So, strain can be written here the change in configuration upon original configuration. This strain has can be three types. First one we can write here the longitudinal strain. See here in longitudinal strain, when you apply the force that you can say tensile stress, there is change in the length. So, the longitudinal strain can be written change in length upon original length. Similarly, we can write here volumetric strain. In volumetric strain, we can write change in volume divided by original volume. So, when you compress the body or apply compressive stress, there is decrease in the volume and that type of the strain is known as actually here the volumetric strain. Third one is here that is called shearing strain. So, now we have done these two types. For the third one that is shearing strain, see what happened in this case, again I will take the example of that is a cube and this side is here and this portion is fixed. I am applying the force from this side and this is there is a change in this upper face gets displaced. So, there is a change in this one, this much length is displaced, suppose this I am taking as here the delta x and this height is L. So, shearing strain can be written here delta x or the change in or the displacement along this surface upon L. If you are taking this angle is theta, this can be written is equal to tan theta. So, tan theta is equal to delta x upon L that is called here shearing strain. So, these are the different types of strain and see here strain have a strain has no unit because it is the ratio of two same quantities.